Hey guys, Jason here. It's been a long time, I know. But, uh, anyway, I wanted to do a review on this little, uh, wood stove I bought off of Amazon. And, uh, uh, I mean, it's made for boats. This is, uh, all stainless steel, which is really cool. Uh, even the pipe, stainless steel. All, all the way up and it's got a through haul made for boats so it goes through the deck and then to the surface of the deck but I'm using it in my uh, camper trailer here in my man cave you see I uh, took out my bed because I don't really need it it's just man cave so that gives me more space but anyway so here we go back to the uh, the little wood stove here so when I ordered this it said it came it's supposed to come with a uh, glass door for a large viewing area it says I got no mine's not a glass door so I didn't get the glass door this thing it's like okay my hands are dirty from work but you see uh, my hand size compared to the stove itself the stove is very tiny it's a little stove it works well if you're burning maybe coal or charcoal in it you don't want anything that really flames up because what happens if you burn wood in it the top the stove itself starts glowing red the stove pipe <laughs> look right there you see that area right there has been red hot glowing red and so what I do well the reason it glows red is because this door has no seal there's no seal around it here's the inside of it um, and the, uh, the little ashtray at the bottom here Just a second, guys. The little ashtray at the bottom here. It's got no seal around it either. So, it's got this little damper. See the little damper? It's controlled by this thing right here. But it does absolutely nothing because all it does is burn full bore all the time. You cannot control the burn on this stove. So you can't really burn wood in it because it burns way too hot. All my walls and my, uh, this is a 26 foot travel trailer. And I come this way. Well, shoot this way and 20 foot, 26 foot travel trailer all my walls in this travel trailer are made out of uh, vacuum sealed um, uh, it's got star foam between the walls a little bit of a quarter inch uh, plywood on the, the inside quarter inch plywood on the outside of it with a, a gel coat uh, fiberglass on the outside so it's star foam here the ceiling is star foam this is a five inch hole just like they said they I should drill in there I did it exactly how they said except for I added uh, behind it I added a, a radiant heat barrier which reflects all the radiant heat or radiation heat right back into the room um, so that I added that and I, this uh, heat shield here is supposed to space it half inch off the wall um, I space it half inch or three quarter of an inch off of the wall 
so it's like it's spaced almost one inch off the wall three-quarter inch after you take away the radiant heat barrier three-quarter inch off the radiant heat barrier so I can slide my whole hand under there so plenty of air space underneath of it plus I have a fan blowing across it to make sure I got airflow and it keeps it cool but I can't burn wood in it because the door does not seal and the little ashtray down here does not seal so this little uh, damper thing it, that's supposed to control the airflow on the stove it doesn't do anything it's just there for looks so I got to seal up that door so I can burn wood in it uh, but yeah I mean it's a good little stove if you burn maybe if you burn coal or if you burn uh, like I got right down here just regular charcoal briquettes it burns great I mean with charcoal briquettes it burns great but these are expensive I wanted to use wood in it that's the reason I bought it uh, let's see what else can I say about it I mean it's a nice little stove but yeah I didn't get the glass door like it said in the listing it's like here I could pull up the listing here do, 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 do. It says right here in the listing large glass viewing window creates a cozy fireplace you see that I highlight it I don't get a large glass viewing window so maybe they don't offer that anymore I sent the company uh, a message they haven't got back to me yet um, I asked them if they sell a, uh, a seal kit for the door and the ashtray if, the, if they did that if it was sealed up around the door and the ashtray and I could actually use this little uh, airflow control thing down here where you slide it to one side full burn or you slide it to the other side to turn it off um, if you could actually if that actually worked then this would be a great stove because you could put wood in there you could turn it down and you could let it just sit there and simmer and keep it uh, at a safe burning temperature but you can't so I don't know man uh, let's go outside and take a look at it. Do, 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 do. So I got to figure out a way to seal up that door. This weekend I got to put the party tent away and all the stuff in the yard because it's supposed to get windy next next week. So I might be able to get you guys video of my uh, wind turbines again but here we go I'm gonna stand back here's a through deck uh, through hole fitting I have a five inch hole cut out it came with a rubber gasket and then I put sealer all around it through my roof um, and then I bought the uh, this pipe thing uh, the the chimney thing and this actually will come off of there so when I'm transporting it you just slide a cap over the top of this when you're transporting it when you're driving around down the road you don't have to I could just take this and put a few screws in it and it would probably be safe to drive uh, so but yep here it is it's all sealed up no water leaks into it pretty easy installation 
I mean, all in all, it's a pretty good stove. But, and I, I mean, even if I can't burn wood in it, um, it'll, just using charcoal briquettes or something, I could, uh, I could help uh, so I don't have to buy as much propane. That's the reason I bought that thing. So anyway, it does work, but if the door was sealed, it would work a lot better. It would be a lot more controllable. When I burn wood in it, I have to, I uh, found out that I use I just use this little Dawn bottle with water in there, and uh, it starts burning too hot, and I can see the uh, the stove top starting to turn red or the stove pipe turn red. I can open it up, spray a little bit of water inside on the fire drop the fire down a little bit to keep it under control so that it doesn't you know burn way too hot because you can see this thing's burned way hot I mean I've tried it I've tried everything the way it's set up and it just doesn't work I can't control the burn so anyway it's just a review on my little Dickinson Newport little wood stove built for boats but I wouldn't use it for burning wood in a boat so anyway thanks for watching you guys talk to you later bye bye